Is the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini actually a good beginner printer like everyone says it is? Let's find out. If you've gone on YouTube or looked up on Google best beginner 3D printer lately, you're gonna hear about this thing. This is the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini 3D printer and it recently went on sale for $200 for the Bamboo Labs second year anniversary and I thought it was the perfect time to pick it up and actually decide if this is a good beginner 3D printer from a beginner. Everybody claims that this machine is awesome, it's super user friendly, you can use it right out of the box, but all the people that are saying this have 50 other different printers, they can write their own code, tell the printer exactly how to do what they want, they can look at a print and see what's wrong with it. That's not me. I don't know about you, I wish, maybe one day, but right now, that is not me. I am a beginner at 3D printing and I need the easiest machine possible to use. So let's see if this thing is actually as good and as user friendly as everybody says it is. This beautiful piece of machinery behind me arrived this morning, so let's jump back a couple of hours, unbox this thing, and see how beginner friendly and how quick it really is to set up. So first, let's go through the specs on the Bamboo Lab website. Now this right here is just the A1 Mini. You can get the AMS combination, which allows you to do multicolor printing. However, it is uh, about $150 more, I believe. So I decided to go with just the A1 Mini, the most affordable option. And if we go through the specs here, they say it has full auto calibration, active flow rate compensation, active motor noise canceling, high speed precision. This specific printer, the A1 Mini, has a build plate volume of 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters. The printer comes with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. However, you can swap it out for a 0.2 for more detail, 0.6 or a 0.8 for some more of those thicker, stronger lines, if that's what you're looking for. The max build plate temperature is 80 degrees Celsius, which allows you to print most of your common filaments. All right, now we got all that out of the way. Let's get this thing open and see how it works. So here it is straight out of the box right here. It looks like it is almost entirely pre-assembled, which is awesome. That screen does look a little bit dusty. I think that might've been my fault because of the way I unboxed it, but so far this thing looks awesome. Remove the four screws to unlock the Z axis limiter. All right, we need a screwdriver. So I will say these screws are slightly tricky to get to. I had to ditch this big old thing for a little smaller Allen wrench just to kind of get in there, but no big deal. So I just got that last screw out and this piece just comes right off. And tighten the three screws circled in green. This one is also kind of hard to get to, but one nice thing is it uses the same exact size Allen key, the two millimeter, so that's cool. Looks like we just slide it right on, just like that. And would you look at that? There's the Allen keys that you need to do this, which you know what? If I would have looked in here first, I would have seen that, which would have been kind of nice. <laughs> this packaging is so good. If you look at that, it says right on there, for purge wiper. So I ended up flipping it on its side just to get that screw in there, made it a whole lot easier. Spool holder installation. So let's grab that spool holder. Add this on there. Just like that. Awesome. All right, now it's time to plug this thing in and see if it comes to life. Oh. Nothing happened. Oh. There's a power switch on the back. All right, let's try again. Okay, I heard it. There it is. It's alive. Whoa. Yelling at me too. So if we start this little nice touch screen here, it's gonna ask for the language region and connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna set that up real quick. And if we look at the screen here, it is uh, starting calibration. So it says, first it's gonna do motor noise cancellation, vibration compensation, then auto bed leveling. So click start on that. Oh, it's moving. I guess I'll just uh, sit back and let it do its thing.
All right, take a look at that. We got calibration completed. Cool. Let's get this thing loaded up with some filament and see what happens. Now, like I said, I ordered the Bamboo Labs filament. It's just not here yet. It is, uh, I don't really know where it is actually. But like I said before, I do have that old 3D printer that I've been trying to get to work and just can't. So I do have a little bit of this Elgu matte white filament here. I believe it's supposed to go like this. And then through here, that I believe is your filament run out sensor. Now, my next question is, this is for the AMS system, which I don't have, so I don't really know which one I'm supposed to uh, use. Let me see if I can find out. So it actually does not say in that quick start guide how to load the filament. However, I was just messing with the screen here and I found a spot where it says load external spool. Honestly, I don't think it gets more beginner friendly than this. It literally guides you exactly through how to do everything. Now the filament's popping out there. I don't know why that took so long for me to notice. Press done. Whoa, it just shot it out. Cool. All right, I just told it to... <laughs> nice. I just told it to print a, uh, a benchy here. So it says it'll take about 20 minutes and we'll see what happens. All right, I just started printing and this thing is going insanely fast. I don't know if um, I set the speed to that or if I was supposed to change the speed, but this thing is moving. I am so impressed. I don't think it gets any more beginner friendly than this. Literally straight out of the box, what was it? Take out four screws, install one screw, and that's it. That's it. This thing is printed in about 15 minutes. I mean, I don't know if you can tell how just insanely fast this thing is printing, but there it is. About 15 minutes to print this right here. That is insane. Wow. I don't know if you can tell how impressed I am with this. The next thing I wanted to test out was the Bamboo Labs app. So I found a, a cool tolerance test that I wanted to print on the app here. It tells me it's gonna take 40 minutes and 19 grams of filament right here. Then you pick your printer, your bed plate, pick your filament. So I'm gonna be using external spool. And then again, it's gonna have me go through and pick that it is generic PLA. How many copies you want, if you want bed leveling, flow calibration, and a time lapse, anything like that. I'm gonna click start print. It says sending print job. And let's see how well this works. And just like that, it is already moving. No SD cards, no USB drives. You don't have to go to a computer to do it. Oh wait, just kidding. Point one works but it's uh you just have to break it free a little bit 0 0.05 i'm looking at it there's no way if you want to get more in depth with your 3d printing you absolutely can with this printer you can download the bamboo lab studio app i guess you could call it program it's available for windows and mac and you can create multiple different build plates so you can prepare whatever project you're working on you can go through and you can see every single individual layer that this printer is going to print. It's actually pretty remarkable the amount of things that you can do with this program if you really want to. You can change any setting that you want to over here, literally anything. Speed, support, strength, and it's all just tons and tons and tons of different options to get the printer to do anything that you need. Now you can definitely get into the woods with a lot of this stuff and kind of get lost in it, or you can simply just go back to the basic mode right here and you have just your basic options, your basic settings. But I think it's really awesome that Bamboo Labs gives you the option to really get in depth with your 3D printing if you want to, or you can simply stick to the app on the phone and send over projects that have already been made. I just think it's really cool that you have the option to progress with this printer if you feel like it. Is the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini actually as good as a starter printer as everybody says it is? Yes.
But seriously, this printer is filled with a ton of features and options and all of it is super user friendly. It walks you through everything on that screen. I don't think I could come up with any more features that I would like to see in a beginner printer. As a beginner myself, I'm on my third print right now in the past hour. This thing is super easy. I didn't have to calibrate anything. It did it all for me, completely on its own. It walks you through everything. I don't think it could get any more beginner friendly than that. Honestly, all of those YouTube videos, all those articles, the website, how it says it's the number one beginner 3D printer, they're all right. 100% they are all correct. If you are looking to get into the 3D printing game, you want to make some money out of it, you want to do it as a hobby, you like designing things, whatever, and you don't know where to start, let me recommend this printer to you right here. The A1 Mini is awesome. I love it. I've had it for only a couple hours and I love it. And I hope you guys will too. And thank you so much for checking out this video. I'll be giving you guys an update video on this machine in a couple of months when I've actually gotten to use it a lot more and gotten a little bit better at 3D printing. But anyways, that's it for now.